right, keeping the show rolling. Next up, we have a middleweight bout at 185 pounds. Out of the blue corner, Joseph Haro. And there's Joseph Haro. Yeah. Five fights in. 14 to go. Next up, out of the red corner. Juan Diaz. And here is Juan Diaz at only 20 years old. All right, let's, let's get this middleweight bout going. Out of the blue corner, making his amateur MMA debut, representing the Resurrection Training Club, Joseph Haro. And in the red corner, also making his amateur MMA debut, representing Raul Castillo Martial Arts, Juan Diaz. Is it both? Debut fighters as well. It seems like everybody's debut today uh, on the camera roster. You know what that means. I'm bound to see some excitement. And here we go, round one. See Juan tying up for that pressure to the cage. Nice knee. Joseph's uh, tying up. Apologies. Oh, there's that pressure that these guys are very well known Ooh. for. Careful with those knees. That looked like a low blow partially there. Joseph working right now. Some dirty boxing, some knees. Doesn't seem like he's a good job on Juan controlling that wrist. Yep, yep. And the exit. Shoots for his own double. That was nice a great shot. shot. One, just sprawling. Yeah. Joseph got that single. Juan coming from a gym with some notable wrestlers there. This would be something, uh, a discipline that he certainly has in the bag. Nice. Ooh, careful with the knee there. That looked like almost hit the face. Yeah. One landing clean one, two right there. Real nice discipline. The body. Oh, Joseph with the overhand right. One tapping. These guys are just standing and banging. One's got some clean boxing. Nice, smooth jab right there. And that balance. Oh. And Joseph gets the takedown. Can Joseph secure it, though? Yep. Juan gets back up. Joseph owning the cage control for sure. Right now at the end of the round. Was that enough to take the full round? I'm curious to see if Joseph's takedown was enough to secure that round. I, you know, I, it wasn't secured though, you know? I, That's a fair point. It led to control, but I wouldn't say that was a secured takedown. Mm. On the hands, Juan had uh, some some decent, like nothing super significant to stun the opponent, but he was landing on the hands, clean, nice and disciplined, no over, over commitment or anything like that. Yeah. And then the beginning of the round was nothing but tie-up, so uh, that's a 50-50 right there. Second and round. here we go, round two. Nice Jeff and Joseph. Joseph a little more confident with the hands in this round. Now Juan shooting for the takedown. Getting that single, trying to Can peel backwards. It? Good wrestling defense from Joseph. Yeah, he got those on, that underhook. Yeah. 
if you're in Juan's corner, you can tell him to, you know, transition to something else or keep it on the hands. Yeah. And the exit. Back to the center. Nice jab. Yeah, it's like a reverse here in, in, in strategy for this round. Joseph utilizing that jab. He's got a decent amount of reach, though. That's, that's good head movement right there. Oh, caught him with that overhand. Joseph really sitting back on that jab. It's effective. Juan seems to have stopped putting the pressure on him. I think that jab's getting in his way. He's getting touched mm -hmm. by it, unlike the first round. Yeah. First round, it wasn't there. Juan's trying to utilize his own jab, but Joseph, Whoa, he's coming back. There you go. There we go. And Joseph goes for the takedown and secures it. Joseph eats a, a barrage of strikes uncontested there, but gets the solid double. Can, Can he keep him down, though? This is a secure takedown. Mm -hmm. Right now, Juan's super active off his back. Joseph progressing. Might get the mount here. He has the mount. Mm -hmm. 10 seconds Ground to work. Pound. Not enough to get a submission, but enough to get some shots in for that next round. And this is source some points. Absolutely. Great way to finish it off. Great way to counter those uh, that, that heavy stand-up. Final round. Juan coming out, trading those jabs now. Oh. Joseph still super effective with that range on his jab. But I bet the confidence is high on Juan for landing that whole combination at the end of yeah. last round. Joseph finding that single. Got to switch it. Juan's doing a good job defending that. Massive job. Lots of head pressure there. Mm -hmm. Juan now in a great position to get a takedown of his own. Or get some strikes in. And they exit and then go back to the center of the cage. I have to say, these guys they got good hands. Juan utilizing that counter. Mm -hmm. Both crowning each other's shots. It's slipping. Seems like he's figured out the jab. Well, one of these fighters should throw more leg kicks, throw them off. Because right now they both feeling each other's rhythm. Just throwing boxing. Yep. There you go. He's waiting for that takedown attempt again. Yep. Again, another relentless attempt, and this one might be effective. Oh nope, Juan with a great, fuck, a great sprawl from what he what he could do right there, and reversing it. Good scramble, right. attempting to take his opponents back. Might be a little high on the rear mount, but in a great position to get some hammer fisting. Joseph probably going to exit through the back door. I think that round was Juan. I have first and third. Who knows? Who knows? This is such a difficult fight to score. All right, here comes Miguel with the scorecard. Let's see which one of these fighters will leave this cage with points. All right, scorecards are in. We have a split decision. Your winner out of the red corner, Juan Ramon Diaz. Juan Diaz from El Castillo Martial Arts takes 
the W this evening.